Now we go back to the beautiful hadith in which Allah the Almighty explains to us the means of approach to Him and what He loves most. After He said, what I love most is al-fard, to offer and fulfill what I have ordained upon you. The next He said, وَمَا يَزَالُ عَبِدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلِ حَتَّى أُحِبَّهِ and my servant will continue to draw nearer and nearer and furthermore nearer towards me. How? Through offering a nawafil, plural of nafila, which is any act of worship which is not fard, which is not mandatory. So this is the area of competition. The more nawafil you offer, the closer you get to Allah, the nearer you get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then what is the end of it? Oh, the end of it is so great. Hatta uhibbahu. You will continue to offer nawafil until Allah loves you. This is what Allah says. And once I love this person, Allah says, I will become his hearing with which he hears. His sight with which he sees. His hand with which he strikes. His legs with which he walks. And if he was to ask anything of me, I shall fulfill it. And if he was to seek refuge in me against anything, I shall grant him refuge. وَلَئِنْ سَأَلَنِي لَأُعْطِيَنَّ وَلَئِنْ اسْتَعَاذَ بِي لَأُعِيذَنَّ We can literally spend the whole day explaining this last segment. What does it mean? To be loved by Allah. And how can one gain this love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You do not go to sleep and you get up in the morning, you find Allah loving you and you become a wali or righteous. No, it's a matter of struggle. It's a matter of striving hard. What does the last ayah of Surah Al-Ankabut say? The ayah says, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّ for those who struggle in our way, for Allah's cause, Allah promises we shall guide them to our way, the royal way. And indeed Allah is with the good doers, with them, with his help with his guidance, with his protection, with answering their dua, until they receive salvation on the day of judgment. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, inviting us to compete with regards to an nawafil, until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this individual. When Allah the Almighty says, I will become his hearing, his sight, his hand and his feet, he refers to two categories faculties of senses and faculties of actions, the limbs. The hearing and the sight, the means of sensing. Much of the sins we commit is simply because of looking at what Allah has forbidden. Or attending meetings where we talk or we hear what Allah has forbidden, slander, backbiting, vain talk, joking and lying, you name it. And while walking in the streets, tons of bad deeds you earn simply by looking at what Allah has forbidden. Watching the news, let alone watching a movie, or a play, listening to a song and music, much of sins. But look at this. If you're a person who is a true wali, who's a pious person who achieved his status through offering all the fard properly, then offering the nawafil and competing in this area until Allah loves you, guess what? You would not struggle with your inner desire anymore because your inner desire will follow what Allah loves. Your hawa will follow what Allah loves. You would find your hearing is not willing to listen to anything but to what Allah loves. You would find your eyes showing no resentment in lowering its gaze because you detest it. 